Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Vice City, the Definitive Edition. Sorry for the delay in today's part. I was just busy uploading those Red Dead videos. The lore videos are coming very soon. I have one coming very soon. I know I've said that a few times. I apologize for the delays, but you guys are going to see a bunch of lore videos dropping really soon and a bunch of them right right after the next one so hope you guys enjoy this part here we go and if you guys enjoy this series please do drop a like um because it does help the series out a lot bill run run ah, wait never get a naked life too close to one of Phil Cassidy's moonshine still. Shit, Phil. Uh, drink that stuff? Hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, wee! Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner. Been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. <clears throat> hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. So Tommy's looking to get some weapons from um, Phil Cassidy. And these missions are good to do right after you finish the Malibu Club before you purchase any other business. Because um, you get access to Phil's um, armory and you also get some money for these missions. So now I remember when I did this playthrough last, because I did it a few months ago in the original Vice City, um, there was people in the comments that were telling me these guys are the Cholos who Phil is um, uh, wants you to get rid of, but um, there's no proof that these guys are the remnants of the Cholos. The Cholos were a Mexican gang that was in um, uh, in Vice City story, but Vic wiped them out. So we gotta ram this off the back of the truck. Yo, SF, what are you doing driving like that? Okay, let's get this. Okay, we got it. Okay, now let's get the next one here. There we go. Well, what do we got here? Spaz 12. Nice. Definitely gonna take this. Get rid of these guys right away, too, so they don't to chase us anymore. Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, lost a lot of health with that, but... Oh, great, yep. Oh no. Damn, I just had such I had armor and everything and now I'm just Okay, I don't like how this guy's driving around. Okay, there we go. Let's take care of the other gun runners now. You get a bonus for killing these guys. Um So 100 bonus $100 for each one that you kill. It's not a lot of money, but it does stack up if you kill a bunch of them. Yeah, we're gonna do that, blow that one up. Damn, these cars getting in the way. Okay, oh, we gotta pick up the Mac 10 here. That sucks, gotta switch it out for the Uzi. Okay, let's get this car, gonna get out of here. Yeah, I made a mistake by getting the police here after me. Okay, let's take care of this last, um, uh, last truck then. Where is it? M60. Okay, that's that's great. Ah. Now go and finish off the remaining um uh dealers. Okay. Oh, was this? A, I don't remember if this was mandatory in the last one in the original, but whatever. Okay, there we go, that's that. And uh, since we're right next to the hospital, we can just get some health here. Okay, we're good on that. 
Okay, now we're gonna need a better car, too. Oh. What the? Why, why not hitting him? Okay, taking this. Out, out. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, man. That was close. Almost failed there. Stallion, one of the most classic GTA cars of all time. So, okay, no, so I get it now. The guys that are on mopeds, those guys, you get a bonus $100 for killing each of them. But then the guys that are actually driving the trucks, those guys you do have to get rid of either way. Damn, okay. What is he doing? Okay, well, his truck is going to be no match for the M60. There we go. Nice. So now we should be getting a call from Phil Cassidy. Let's see if we can drive on over there first. And also, I would recommend that you complete Phil's missions. <clears throat> complete Phil's missions before... Whoa, oh. Well, there's some of them still coming after me. Complete Phil's missions before you um uh, you do the Cuban gang missions. Because if you finish those off and you try to go back to little Haiti, it's going to make this really hard. Tommy, it's Phil. Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra strength moonshine nearing fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy, if you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you, you hear? <laughs> that, um, uh, Phil is a pretty funny character. So now this one, Boom Shine Saigon. Saigon is the capital of South Vietnam. Hey, Tommy! How you doing? This bitch is hot! I swear you should lay off that Boom Shine, man. It smells like paint stripper. Just make my eyes burn. Shh, 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 Tommy. Hey, come over here because there's something I want to show you. Something. Oof, God, should I be able to smell that from way over here? Like Don't boom. you worry about the Phil, smell, oof. Tommy. You just watch this. Shitty, cheap batteries. So you see, the reason it didn't go off because he didn't put the batteries in. The fool. Ta da! Oh, damn! <laughs> That's definitely not good. So now this mission has a lot of references to the Vietnam War. It's called Boom Shine Saigon. Um, and this is how the, um, this is how Phil Cassidy really lost his arm. He didn't lose it in Nicaragua like he told Claude in GTA 3. He was too embarrassed to tell him the real reason how he lost his arm. Watch out! Charlie the tree line. So Saigon was the capital of South Vietnam before North Vietnam took over it. When North Vietnam took over Saigon, they renamed it Ho Chi Minh after the communist leader of North Vietnam. And a lot of people in South, uh, in Vietnam that live in Saigon call it, um, uh, Saigon still today. Um, and when Phil says, uh, watch out Charlie in the tree line, Charlie is a reference to the North Vietnamese army and the Viet Cong. So when the Americans said Charlie, they're referring to the communist forces of Vietnam. Not the hospital, man. Too many cops in Viet Cong. There's an ex-army surgeon who owes me a few favors and a lawnmower. He's got a place down in Little Havana. Oh, huh, giant fish. Too many cops in Viet Cong. And um, uh, the Viet Cong were those guys that in the Vietnam War that you see in movies. They were the uh, rebel force. They were... Let's get Phil in here first. So Phil's place has been completed. New weapons available to purchase from Phil's place. Okay. So now what I was saying is the Viet Cong, so to understand what Phil was talking about, 
The Viet Cong were a, a rebel force, so they're oftentimes mixed up with the North Vietnamese army, even though they fought on the same side. The Viet Cong were a communist force, communist rebel force, that was in South... They were mostly from South Vietnam. Some of them were from Cambodia, too. But um, uh, they, they were basically attacking like u.s forces in vietnam they would not wear prop they wouldn't wear uniforms they basically just did rebel attacks they bought did bombings they were the guys that you you saw in like movies and stuff that the people who put the traps in the vietnam war like the really bad traps there was the Viet Cong who did it the Viet Cong were really um some really bad guys like if they caught somebody they were known for really bad torturing and so a lot of like american soldiers were really scared of the Viet Cong they're some pretty pretty bad guys so that's what phil was talking about when he said, um, uh, too many cops in Viet Cong. He was having flashbacks to Vietnam. Now, it's Phil. I want to thank you for helping me out back there, son. Damn Charlie, he'll always ambush you somewhere or the other. Anyway, the wound is healing well, and it means I'll no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. <laughs> it means I will no longer be defrauding the government on my disability check. <laughs> so we're going to be purchasing two other businesses in this playthrough. We'll purchase the ice cream factory for $20,000. Let's do that also. I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for this part. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child. A dirty, stinking, sniveling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little bill. Oh, mommy doesn't love you. You little shit! Ow, calm down! I hate babies, and I hate children! They are dirty, snivelling, snotting, vile, puking Enough little- Enough already! What is wrong with you? You make soft ice cream, okay? It's purely for kids! What kind of psycho are you? Just so I understand this, why make children happy if you oh, hate them? Oh, you stupid, snivelling, snotty- Shut up! Rat! The ice cream is a front. We distribute other non-dairy products. And if I see a kid, I put him to good use. Don't I, kiddies? Yes, yes, I do. Mommy doesn't love you. She hates you. So, you heard, yeah, I hear there's good money in ice cream. You heard what Tommy said? What a nice lady. Still, I heard there's good money in ice cream. Um, uh, so, uh, the thing is, though, when somebody like Tommy Versetti calls you a psycho, you really are a psycho. So somebody like Tommy Versetti was creeped out by her, too. Use your Mr. Whoopi van to distribute Cherry uh, Popper's product around Vice City. You receive money for each transaction you make, but the more transactions you make, the more police attention you get. Okay, so, now, I'll show you guys the best place to do this, and, so, the... To complete the ice cream factory as a front, because each business is a front, the ice cream factory is a front for drugs. So in reality, Tommy is selling drugs out of the ice cream van. To get it uh, to produce passive income for you, you have to make 50 deals. And so, people go to Little Havana or Little Haiti, that's the worst place that you can go, because when the gangs see you dealing in their territory, they're gonna go after you. So right here, let's turn it on. And you have to watch out, because you have to do 50 deals in a row. And you have to watch out because the police are going to go after you. So when the police see you, um, uh, they'll come after you. So just watch all around the truck. You can actually do this mission pretty quickly. A lot of people really don't like this mission, but it's not that bad. Oh, there's a cop right there. No, no, no. Okay, right here is probably good. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Okay, um, what is this NPC doing? Okay, I don't know what he's doing right now. Okay, so we got four deals done. I know that some people, you know, they really don't have patience to do a mission like this, but, you know, it's not that bad. You get some money, too, for this, um, uh... You get some money for completing this mission, but like, you know, the, the best thing to do is like, you know, drive around here because there's a, there is a pay and spray, like really close to here. And so you don't gotta worry about gangs or anybody, you know, shooting at you here. 
Got two more deals done. It looks like this mission might be glitched out. Some of the NPCs aren't buying, like, um, uh, when they go up to the truck. Okay, there we go. Eight. Okay, just watch out. For cops. Um, oh yeah, there's a cop. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, that you want to watch out for. I think I'm probably going to go back to the coast. Yeah, so it seems that there's a problem in the Definitive Edition. Some of the NPCs... Because, like, when you're making the deal, the NPCs will, like, move their hands around. That's how you know you're doing it right. So, you see, when they're moving their hands around like that, you're, you're making the deal. Okay, time to get out of here. Maybe I can get a few quick in here. Okay, get out of here quickly now. But 13 deals done. Okay, we got more than 20% of this done so far. Okay, let's see, is there anyone over here? Usually there's a lot of NPCs around this area. Okay, there, I see some there. This should be good. Okay, there we go. Two more NPCs. Okay, 15 deals done. Nice. A lot of people at the docks are buying drugs. 17 deals. Yeah, just watch around for cops, because they can ruin you really quickly here. They just pull you out, and it's over. The mission's done. 19 deals. Whoa. Okay. Okay, a time to get out of this area. Cops not too happy about that. Okay, we got 22 done. Almost halfway or close. I know this is, you know, um, a, you know, weird mission, but um, some people really don't like it. But, you know, I, I'm fine with it. I don't think it's, a, you know, an interesting mission, but I don't think it's, like, a totally crap mission either. There we go. Now there we got a bunch of deals done. Okay, we're halfway there and done now. Oh yeah, we're just stopping here. This is a good spot. Yeah, this looks like a good spot. The only thing I'm worried about right now is a cop coming up. Oh, NPC just got run over. God, he's slow. Okay, we're more than 60% done. Okay, 
two more here. Yo, my man, you blocking up the street. These NPCs, probably someone here. And the, um, buying the, uh, cherry poppers isn't required for, you know, unlocking the final mission, but it is required for, um, uh, it is required for 100% completion. Twelve more deals and we're good. Okay, this area I think we'll be able to finish it off here. 50 deals and we're good. Okay, seven more. Perfect. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, move. I'm going to go to 51 deals just to be safe to make sure that it completes it. Two more deals, and uh, we'll finish this off here. No customers here. Okay, here we go. We should be able to get it now. We got it. Ice cream factory acid completed. The cherry popper factory now generate revenue up to a maximum of three thousand dollars. Make sure you collect it regularly. So that's every day. It'll make three thousand dollars for you. So I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. I know this part was a little bit short, but I wanted to do Phil Cassidy's missions on this part because I usually do these in sections where I'll do like a specific character's missions all in one part, and I thought I'd include the Cherry Poppers in this um uh, in this part. So on the next part, we'll be doing the Cuban Gang missions. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.